You're a teacher and you've got some knowledge and wisdom that you'd like to share. But the track team is missing class for an invite and robotics has a tournament somewhere. Happy Friday in five. Today we're going to be looking at YouTube. What you'll need. A Gmail account. A lot of us already have those. Screen capture software if you want to record yourself. A connection to the World Wide Web via the internet and enthusiasm, hopefulness, and also some patience. What we're going to be covering today is searching on YouTube, subscribing to channels, playlists, uh, embedding in Canvas, etc. Uploading your history on uh, YouTube once you have a channel going. And uh, don't cross the MPAA or the RIAA. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at it. I am currently logged in with my Gmail account to YouTube, my Google account. I have a separate one for school called chriscozor.edu. I do that because I want to put all the stuff that's appropriate for distribution to classes and other folks uh, on there. And then I've got a private uh, personal account, as private as it can be. Uh, this one right here. So I'm not going to use that right now. I'm just going to look at this one. But I am, in fact, logged in, and that's important. So uh, some of the features we're going to be looking at uh, require you to be logged in. All right, so we're going to be looking at search. You can see I'm logged in here, of course, to YouTube. And uh, world history is my search item. I hit search here, and I get a number of different things. Now, YouTube search is just like any search, uh, generic search. Um, if I were to pick something more specific like Mars Rover, You'll see um, I get all kinds of different options. Obviously, I get some ads up here at the top. And then um, I get some different results. So uh, depending on the channel, uh, you're going to get uh, reputable sources or not so reputable sources. If I go to, for example, view count on Mars Rover, um, how to get to Mars by this user H-E-L-I uh, is the top one. And uh, you get some different... Um, items like a pyramid is found on Mars. Uh, so you got to be careful with search, just like with anything. It uh, requires a little bit of critical thinking. But if I look up world history, uh, you can see I've got search history already going there. Um, I get a couple of different things. I get some ads at the top. Then I get an entire setup here for Crash Course, which is an entire uh, playlist. Um, or I can just go to Crash Course here. I know that's a popular one with folks. Uh, we go to Crash Course uh, the Agricultural Revolution, uh, hey, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Now, ads are sort of one of those things we have to put up with with YouTube unless you have some special plugins in place. Um, you can subscribe to channels, so I happen to know that this is a great channel, and I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to it. Um, this particular one I would add to a playlist down here if I had been building a playlist. Uh, so I'm going to create a new playlist called History. H-I-S-T-O-R-Y, and it, whether or not my playlist is public, unlisted, or private is important. A lot of this you'll see all over YouTube. Public means anybody can get to it uh, who sees my channel. I'm going to go ahead and leave it public and create uh, that. And then, again, uh, if I want to add it to that, it's already added to history. So I've added this video to, to history. Now I'm going to play through this ad, and if I want, I can always mute it. Um, while we're working here. So I've subscribed to it. You can kind of see what the mechanics um, are here. I can have it send me an email uh, or any notification for this channel if they update, if they add more content. It just depends. Um, and you can manage your settings on how you're notified there. It depends on what you want. Uh, you can, of course, like it. Uh, you could even like the video you're watching right now. Hint, hint, and subscribe. Uh, so uh, you've got other options on sharing. Uh, the neat thing about Canvas is if I copy and paste this um, into a, a Canvas page, and by this I mean this the uh, link here to the video or the address to the video, um, as soon as I paste it, it automatically knows it's YouTube content and it embeds it. 
Uh, so it, it even tells you this link will be replaced with an embedded video. Some folks have done this. If you haven't, just know it's very easy to embed YouTube video content anywhere around Canvas. You can put it in a quiz. You can put it in a discussion um, as a prompt. And there it is. So uh, that's how you embed content into Canvas. There are other ways to embed. If you click here, um, there is an embed link for other areas uh, that you might be in on the web. You might be embedding into a blog or something. But just know that there are options there. So you're tired of all these upstarts getting all the glory and you want to have your own channel. Well, if you've got a Google account, a Gmail account, and a YouTube account, which are all pretty much one and the same, uh, you've got a channel. Uh, if you click over here on this little hamburger menu thing, um, you can see I've got some things going already because I've uploaded and been all around uh, YouTube. Uh, but you want to upload uh, to uh, YouTube there. And you can see I've got a bunch of stuff that I've already created. These are my videos here, uh, Friday and Five stuff. Way up here, unassumingly in the corner, is an upload button. Uh, if I've recorded a video that is of a certain length that can't be very long. I think the length is 15 minutes, but I'd have to Google it. Uh, I can take a video and drag it and drop it into this space. It's going to give it uh, the title of the file. Maybe I want to put a space in there, a dash, or maybe I want to change it completely and call it rotoscoping test. And then I'll call it uh, After Effects Rotoscope. Uh, I can give it a tag uh, like After Effects, Effects, and tagging just helps associate the video with certain uh, subjects or topics. And then I'm ready to publish. But before I do, I want to look at the privacy setting. It's currently public, which means people can search for it. Uh, they can do a number of different things with it. Uh, and then unlisted and private. Um, as long as I haven't violated any copyright, and we'll talk about that in a minute, I haven't used a soundtrack that's copywritten. I'm not using video that's got a copywritten uh, portion. Uh, it's my original video uh, with some very unoriginal uh, ideas in the form of lightsabers there. I, uh, I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and click Publish, and I'll go ahead and leave this to public. I can add it to a playlist on the fly if I wanted to. Um, like miscellaneous, but I'm not going to even bother with that just yet. I'm just going to click publish, and as it's publishing, uh, it's a pretty short video, so the processing didn't take long. The longer the video, the longer the processing, uh, obviously, and then uh, the video will be live at this link. So if I click this link, we can see whether or not it's processed. You can see the name has changed to rotoscoping test. Um, the description that I gave it was After Effects rotoscope, and then of course um, these are my uh, my different options there. Um, I can look at analytics for my videos and see who's viewed them, which would be no one or rather one person. Um, and it even tells you it takes a few days uh, for that to get there. So um, I've got a lot of options here when it comes to creation of video. We're not going to go over all that today in Friday and Five. Uh, just know that uploading is a very straightforward process. Now, obviously, before you upload, you need to select some software to get you going with that in the form of some video capture or um, lecture capture or screen capture software. I happen to be using Camtasia. Uh, we've got Adobe Captivate available to teachers. Um, we could get you set up with any number of solutions. So that's not really the issue. You can just come see your educational technology specialist and he would be happy to help you pick out uh, the right choice there. But that's uploading to YouTube in a nutshell. Uh, next we have your history. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, as you're going about your day looking up YouTube content, yeah, it's paying attention to what you're doing. Uh, it remembers it. Uh, so there is a history, uh, and some of these recommendations are based on that history. Uh, pop music, Adult Swim, um, apparently some video game stuff, more guitar playing, uh, technology, go figure, that's all my stuff. Uh, so it tries to personalize it for you. Sometimes that's desirable and sometimes it's not. If I go over back over here my hamburger, um, I can see the history. And I may want to manage this in some way depending on how public it is. Like maybe I don't want my Robot Chicken DC Comics uh, piece in my history here, so I'm going to delete it. Uh, it can be removed. I can just clear my history wholesale up here, uh, my entire watch history, if that's desirable. Um, so you can see that there is, in fact, a history there. 
Um, I've also got a search history, which I can also clear up. Uh, so either one of those uh, relates to history. Um, another final thing to talk about here is that when you're uploading your own content, you want to be very careful that you're not uploading things that are already copywritten. That would include anything that was like, uh, you know, in video or music form, something that was copywritten. So I couldn't upload, you know, Star Wars, the movie, for example, or um, a Taylor Swift song. Uh, even if that song was the soundtrack to a video that I had created, um, whatever soundtracks I use for my videos need to be uh, public domain content, not copywritten content. So as I'm uploading there, uh, just be aware that YouTube is pretty proactive about taking that content down uh, and eliminating it without mercy. Um, so uh, you just want to be aware that that is there as a feature. So that's basically it in YouTube. We covered searching, we covered subscribing to channels, we covered playlists, uh, we covered embedding into Canvas and other things. We covered uploading briefly. If you want to know more about that and create your own YouTube channel, um, we can talk about it. Uh, we covered history and we covered uh, the MPA and RIAA. So uh, that's about it. Friday and much more than five. Uh, lots of little chunks here today. Uh, to look at and hope you have a great Friday and weekend. See you next week.